Dear friends, the 16th century Elizabethan literature is considered as the golden period of literature, not only in poetry, in the vaster sense, it is a golden period of literature comprising of poetry, drama, essay, etc. Drama is one of the major field of creative writing in England. The early development of drama in England is traced through miracle plays, morality plays, interludes and the influence of Latin and Greek dramatists and the production of plays in English like Gorboduck, Rolf Royster, Doister, Gammer, Gertens, Needle, etc. The contribution of the church congregation, miracle, morality, etc. led to the unbelievable achievement through the contribution or creative writing that is a production of drama by the group of dramatists called University Wits. Who are these University Wits? Let us look at the free Shakespearean writers, especially the dramatists like Lily, George Peele, Thomas Kidd, Robert Greene and Christopher Marlowe are called as university wits because they went to universities for higher education and studied Greek, Latin or Roman literature and thought of writing drama in English, they came to be called as university wits. They drank deep the Western thought, not only European, but Roman and Greek and ancient classical literature also. Thus, they came to be called as university wits. They are all called as free Shakespearean. And that is why the designation called University Wits is very apt. They are very enthusiastic, vibrant and spirited who had highly knowledge of Western reading in them. It gave way to a great production. Let us see these dramatists. John Lilly is one beginner of this university wits group. John Lilly is known by his work UPS. Though it is in the form of prose, it changed the mindset of the readers. UPS is a work that gave way to a birth of the term called Eupinism. John Lilly is, in other words, a great influence on the readers by his work UPS. The idea of this UPMism is Lily's contribution, highly enthusiastic and UPMistic in style in the field of prose writing came to be introduced by John Lilly. The next dramatist is Thomas Kidd. Thomas Kidd is uh, known by his single play called Spanish Tragedy. The play that is single to his credit was uh, highly powerful in its influence. The play introduced horror and crime on the stage. Spanish Tragedy is very powerful in introducing these two aspects on the stage, crime and horror in English mind of the audience. Next dramatist is George Feely. George Feely is one who made the plot and story line more powerful, taking it to more systematic and constructive in nature. His old wives tale and the arrangement of Paris are two examples of such a place. The love, hatredness are the sources of these plays. But to the English audience, these plays could feed 
the emotion and imagination and the aspects of satisfying their thirst for reading. Robert Greene is another dramatist who made plot construction in the uh, writing drama as a very significant aspect. Among all these university wits, the greatest of the dramatists is Christopher Marlowe, who can be called as the most powerful light around whom all these writers uh, revolve. Christopher Marlowe is one who is a fine example of true renaissance spirit. The chivalry, heroism, etc., reason and the imagination all came to be included and exercised in Christopher Marlowe's place. Christopher Marlowe, through his place like Tamburlin the Great, tried to bring history on the stage. Christopher Marlowe tried to bring the historical character called Taimur, a great Islamic leader on stage through his play Tamburlin the Great. The tragedy, hatredness, revolution and warriorship all came to be exercised in this play. Another greatest of the contribution of Christopher Marlowe is the production of a play called Dr. Faustus. Dr. Faustus is a play that is studied in most of the universities in European as well as Asian countries. Dr. Faustus is one who sold his soul for the 24 years of happiness. The ghost, supernatural element, tragedy, crime all have been introduced through this play on the English stage. Christopher Marlowe is such a great spirit, uh, like a tour de force in the Elizabethan drama before Shakespeare. The free Shakespearean Elizabethan drama is actually taken to its zenith in the contribution of Christopher Marlowe. Marlowe is such a a single force that is unstoppable to Elizabethan audience because of his two important plays like Dr. Faustus and Christopher Marlowe. Elizabethans could come across imagination, emotion, fantasy, supernatural element, ghost, tragedy, everything on this stage. At the same time, spirit of patriotism, nationalism and the true renaissance spirit that could be seen in the place of the dramatist called Christopher Marlowe. Thank you.